The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 17th of December, 1975, in Bombay, India. Sri Prahadu Vacha Komar Vacharit Pragya Dharman Bhagavatani Ha Durlavang Manasang Janma Tadopi Adhrubam Arthadam. This is the instruction of Prahad Maharaj to his class friend. Prahad Maharaj was born of Hiranakosipu. Great demand he is described as demand because he was interested only in material comforts. Hirana means gold, gold and very comfortable situation of material life. He was interested. And he wanted to teach his son about this economic development, but Pallad Maharaj, when he was in the womb of his mother, there was fight between the demons and the demigods. So the demons sometimes, when there is fight, Sometimes one party is victorious, sometimes the other party is victorious. So the demigods party became victorious and they were harassing the demons like anything. So Hiranakosi, whose wife, she was pregnant, she was captured by Indra, the king of heaven, and she was being dragged to take her in the house of Indra. In the way Narad Muni met them, he chastised Indra. Narad Muni was Devarsi, Rishi amongst the demigods. So he said, why are you giving trouble to this woman? This is not good. So the demigods replied that this woman is pregnant and there is Hiranakasipu's son. So we want to kill that son also because he is demon. So we are taking this woman to our place just to wait for the time of her delivery, the child. At that time Narad Muni said, no, no, this child is not a demon child. This child who is within the womb of this woman, he is a great devotee. So don't try to kill him, neither you can kill him, that is not possible. So they are demigods, they accepted Narad Muni's proposal, so they offer respect to the woman, that here is within the womb of this woman a great devotee. So they circumvented and offered respect to the wife of Hiranyakasipu, and they went down. So Narad Muni took wife of Hiranyakasipu to his ashram. So, my dear girl, my dear daughter, you please come with me. Remain with me till your husband comes back. So she agreed, and woman's natural propensity is to serve. So she was very nicely serving Narad Muni, and Narad Muni became very much pleased, and he instructed 
about transcendental knowledge, although to the wife of Hiranyakashipu, but still the Hiranyakashipu's son Prahlad Maharaj was within the Om, he also heard the instruction and he learnt everything. Later on he will explain that my mother, on account of being Oman, she has forgotten the instruction of Narada, but I heard it even from within the womb, I remember it. So this Prahlad Maharaj is repeating the same instruction which he heard from Narada Muni when he was packed up within the womb. So this is one of the instructions, that spiritual instruction does not depend on any material condition. In any position one can understand spiritual instruction. Ahoytuki aprati hata jena atma sam prasidati sabai pumsaṁ paro dharma jato bhakti radho khaje ahoytuki aprati hata jena atma sam prasidati. That is first class religion. Sabai pumsaṁ paro dharma. Para means supreme. There are different types of religion, but the supreme religion is parodharma, that is jato bhakti radhu khaji. That religious system which instructs the followers how to become a perfect devotee of the Supreme Lord, that is first class religion. We are fighting in this material world. You are Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Sikh, I am Jain, I am this, I am that. But this is not paro dharma. This is aparo dharma. Paro and aparo. There are two qualities, just like material and spiritual. Material is called aparo. And spiritual means para, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Aparayam bhumi rapa nalo bayo khangamano buddhi devacha. Hinda me prakriti astadha. These material elements, earth, water, fire, air, sky, mind, intelligence, and false ego, these are eight material elements, out of which five are gross, humi and three are very subtle. Just like everyone, I know you think with your mind, you know also I think with my mind, but mind is subtle. I cannot see your mind, neither you can see my mind, Neither I can see my mind, or you can see your mind. This is subtle. And the finer than the mind is intelligence. And finer than intelligence is egoism or egotism. And finer than egotism is the soul. To our Krishna consciousness moment, is little difficult for ordinary persons who are interested with the material gross and subtle elements. For them it is little difficult. But Krishna says, aparāyam, this is inferior, these energies, they are energies. Prakriti me asadha, prakriti means energy. Just like prakriti means oman, naturally a oman is under the control of the man. That is our Vedic system and natural system also. However, the oman may claim equal rights, they are under the control of the man. That is natural. 
So similarly, prakriti means which is under the control of the supreme law. That is prakriti. In another place, Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Maya dhaksena prakriti suyate sa characharam hetu nani na kauntriya jagadvi parivartate. Krishna says, Maya dhaksena. Under my control, the material nature is working. Maya dhaksena prakriti. In another place in Brahma Sangita, it is said how prakriti is under the control of the Supreme Lord. Sisti sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti rika chai vajasya bhavanani vibhati durga. Durga is the material nature. It is very powerful. Sisti sthiti creation, maintenance, and annihilation is going on under her control, Durga Devi. You have seen the picture of Durga, ten hands with ten kinds of weapons. So she is very powerful, but still she is under the control of Govinda. Sisti sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti rika chaye vajasya bhavanani vibhati Durga. Icharu Rupamapi just such a test of the Shah Govindamadi Purusam Tama. The Mul Prakriti, the original Prakriti, is fully under the control. Control means she acts according to the direction of Govinda. Just so Agaya, she is acting. So this Prakriti is inferior Prakriti. And there is another superior prakriti. That superior prakriti is represented by Srimati Radharan. The Radharani and Durga, both of them are prakritis of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But one prakriti is meant for controlling this material world and the other prakriti is meant for blessing the spiritual world. Two prakritis are Krishna's prakriti. Therefore Krishna says, aparāyaṁ itastu vidhime prakritiṁ parā jīva-bhūto mahābāho jayedam dhārjati jagat. So this jīva-bhūto, living entities, we, we are living entities, we also belong to the spiritual prakriti. We are expansion of spiritual prakriti. Just like Srimati Radharani is always engaged in the service of the Lord, anaya rādhate, arādhate, iti rādhārāt. The Radharani, the name, has come from the word arādhate, arādhan. Arādhan means worship. So everyone is meant, beginning from Radharani and her expansion, uh, Lakshmi in Vaikuntha, Lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sevvamanam govindamadi purusam tamaham bhajar. Here we worship Mother Lakshmiji, Goddess of Fortune, to receive some favor, but in the Vaikuntha world, there are many hundred thousands of Lakshmi. Lakshmi Sahasya Sato. And they are Samrava Sebhuman. With great respect, they are engaged in serving the Supreme Lord. So, we being expansion of the spiritual Lakshmi or Adharani, our duty is to serve Radharani and through Radharani to serve Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness movement. We are missing this point that instead of learning from Radharani how to serve Krishna, we are being controlled by the another prakriti, material energy, Durga, 
with weapons in her ten hands. This is our position. Therefore, we are missing the point, and it is said in Brahma Sanghita, now in the Srimad Bhagavatam, this is also spoken by Prahlad Maharaj, Nati Vidu Sartha Gating Hi Vishnu, Dura Sayaji Bahirat Manina, Andha Jathandri Rupani Yamana, Stepi Satantra Urudamni Bhadha. So in this material world, they do not know what is the aim of life. Nati Vidu. Nati Vidu Sartha Gating. Everyone is very much expert to see his interest. The two businessmen, they are agreeing, but everyone is trying to see his personal interest first. This is called sārtha-gati. That is natural. But Prahlad Maharaj says, nate vidu sartha gati hi Vishnu. Unfortunately, these materialistic persons, they do not know what is his real interest. The real interest is Vishnu. How to serve Vishnu? That is explained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the beginning. Sanatana Goswami, a great minister of Nabab Hussain Shah's government, he retired from his ministerial activities and became a servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to preach this Krishna consciousness movement. The six Goswamis of Vrindavan, Sridhup Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Sridhip Gopal Bhatta Das Raghunath. So there are many descriptions about that activities in Vrindavan, some of them are described by Srinivas Acharya. The prime duty was these Goswamis, they are ministers, big, big Jamindas, Raghunath Das Goswami was the only one son of his father and uncle. And in those days, five hundred years ago, their paternal income was twelve lakhs of rupees. So such person joined Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rup Sanatan, Bhattu Raghunath, either they were very, very learned scholar or coming from very, very rich family, big post, or the six Goswami, Sri Rup Sanatan, Bhattu Raghunath, Sri Gopal Bhattu Das Raghunath. So that business was, this Goswami, Krishna Kirtana Gana Nattana Parau, they were always engaged in chanting Krishna. That is the real purpose of human life, especially in this age. Uh, it is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam to Parikhit Maharaj by Sukhdev Goswami, he described the symptoms of Kali Yuga. It is very, very faulty, but he concluded that Kalo dosa nidhe rajan hi asti eko mahanaguna. In this age of Kali, it is very fallen age. Mandras manna matayu manna bhagga jupadrata. The population in this age, they are, almost all of them are manna. Manna means bad or very slow. So they do not understand what is the aim of life, are very slow to understand. Therefore they are called manda. And because they do not understand their real interest of life, they can be called very bad, manda. So these are the symptoms. Manda sumanda matayo, manda bhagga jupadruta. So in this age, although it is so fallen, the Shastra says, kalau dosu nidhi rajan, Asti ki eka mahanaguna. There is one great opportunity. What is that opportunity? 
कीर्तना देव कृष्ण सा मुक्त संग परम ब्रजेत इफ वन टेक्स टू चांटिंग दिस हरे कृष्ण मंत्र देन ही बिकम्स रिलीज और फ्री फ्रॉम द ऑल कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ दिस हेड एंड परम मुक्त संग ही बिकम्स लिबरेटेड एंड ही गोज बैक टू होम बैक टू गॉड सिंपली बाई चांट दैट इज मुक्ति मुक्ति मीन्स वी आर नाउ अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल एनर्जी भूमि रपन वायु दिस इज अपरा प्रकृति तो अपरा प्रकृति वी हैव टू गिव अप द एसोसिएशन ऑफ द अपरा प्रकृति एंड वी हैव टू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ परा प्रकृति दिस इज आवर एम ऑफ लाइफ द सब्जेक्ट मैटर वाज हाउ टू बिकम सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ that we are trying to explain the success is that we have to give up the control we have to become free from the control of the apara prakriti and we shall voluntarily submit to be favored by para prakriti this is our business aim of that then our life will be successful if we miss this opportunity to give up the shelter of apara prakriti and do not take shelter of the para prakriti then we are missing the opportunity it is very subtle thing there is no education but the information and the enlightenment is there in our shastra in bhagavad gita everything is explained how one can give up the control of the apara prakriti and be under the shelter of apara prakriti devi jesha guna mai mama maya duratya mami bhaja prapadante maya me tang tarant it is not very difficult krishna comes to in extract this simple truth that you are being controlled by the material energy you give up this business you be controlled by the spiritual energy and your life is at this is the matter mami moja prapadante maya me tang taranti so we are our krishna consciousness moment is for this purpose that simply we are trying to educate people how to give up the control of the material energy are under the control not to control the material energy. that we cannot do that is not possible but not to become under the control and that is very simple method ah mami baja prapadante maya me tan tarantite just like if you become honest if you are not criminal then there is no police control police may be there but as soon as you become criminal you become under the control of police similarly our business is as chaitanya mahaprabhu has explained and everywhere in the shastra and actually we are so we are eternal servant of god or krishna this is our real position chaitanya mahaprabhu has said jiver swarup hoy nitya krishna da but our disease is instead of becoming das we are trying to become the master of the prakriti this is called materialistic way of life so that will not make us happy at any stage of our life this is very dangerous we are missing the point nati vidu sarth gatin vishnu durasaya ji bahiratthamani na अंधा जथाधि रूपनीयमानी स्वतंत्रा वृणा निबद्या वी आर फॉर गेटिंग दैट वी आर एब्सोल्यूटली अंडर दी कंट्रोल ऑफ मेटीरियल नेचर प्रकृति क्रियमाना गुणकर्मा सर्वस अहंकार विमुणात्मा कर्ताहम मनते वी आर फुल्ली अंडर दी कंट्रोल ऑफ मेटीरियल नेचर एंड फुलिस्ली अहंकार on account of being built up by false egotism we are thinking that i am independent this is called material illusion 
So our first business is to understand what is this material world, what is this spiritual world, what is God, what is my relationship with Him, and how to execute the business of my life to become successful in this human form of life. Success of human form of life to understand this thing. Our relationship with God, and we should act in relationship with God. Then our success of life will be achieved. This is the main purpose of Krishna consciousness for man. It is a very prolonged subject matter to understand. But everything is explained. Our only request is that you read Bhagavad Gita as it is. Don't try to interpret. That is useless. Otherwise, why people have lost in India their own culture? Because they have interpreted wrongly. Every shastra has been interpreted wrongly, and therefore people are misguided. They could not take advantage of the instruction of Bhagavad Gita because all through the Bhagavad Gita has been misinterpreted. So many so-called politicians, scholars, but it is maybe for the first time, not first time, it is there, but to make a broad propaganda war that try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is, without any interpretation. That is our mission. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. Don't try to interpret and spoil it. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amar Agnaya Guru Hoya Taro Eidesh. Eidesh means he was born in Bengal, India. It may be Bengal or India. He was interested with every man all over the world. Prithivite Ache Jato Nagoradi Gram Sadbhatra Prachar Hoi Bemor Nam. So he was interested in all the parts of the world how they can be delivered from the clutches of this material energy. So he wished, especially the Indians, to take this job, preaching the teachings of Bhagavad Gita all over the world. He wanted it. Bharat Bhumite Manusha Janma Hila Ja Janma Sattva Kori Karo Parobhaka. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. Paropuka. It is not the business of the Indian people to exploit others. The mission is they must be very, very merciful to all outsiders born in out of India. That is Indian mission. Because they are in darkness. They do not know. So instead of enlightening them, giving them Jyotip Gama. Tamasi Ma, don't remain in darkness. So we are imitating them. So this is not India's good fortune. We should not imitate. That is not very good civilization. This has been described as Asuric civilization in the Bhagavad Gita. Nati Vidu Satukatini Vishnu. They do not know. Anyway, although they do not know, they are accepting now. The Krishna consciousness movement is so potential that they accept. That is Upaka. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted this. Karo paro upaka. They are in darkness. Tamasi. Bring them in the light. Tamasi ma jyuti dhamma. So this attempt has been done by us individually with teeny effort, but it is becoming successful. But if we take up seriously this movement, everyone become completely aware of this movement and take this mission, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amaragai Guru Hayya Taro Ei Desh. Every one of you will become a guru by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I shall become guru. What shall I do? I do not know anything. 
No, you haven't got to know anything. You simply jare rakotare kaha Krishna bhuja. You simply repeat the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. Whomever you meet, you try to call this. Then you are good. So, our mission is this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we are trying to execute the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We don't say anything else except what is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says, Krishna says, Manmana bhavamad bhakta madjadi magna maskuru. Simple thing. It is not very difficult thing. Krishna says, always think of me. Is it very difficult task? No. You chant Hare Krishna, you remember Krishna immediately. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. So always remember Krishna. This is Krishna's instruction. Manmana, always think of me, mad bhakta, and naturally you become bhakta. As soon as go on chanting Hare Krishna, that's like this European and American boys. They have been instructed to chant Hare Krishna mantra, nothing that, that I showed them any magic how to manufacture gold or how to become this or that. No. Simply I have asked them to chant Hare Krishna. And they have joined me because they have chanted Hare Krishna. Why? By chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, the dirty things within the heart will be clean. Then we will understand what is my position, what to do. So this is the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jare dakho Krishna said that manmana bhavamad bhakta. You just think of me. You just become my devotee. Mad jaji. You just offer a little flower and water to me. Patram pushvam phalam tuyam. If you think that we have got money, the money is for my enjoyment, and Krishna may be offered a little water and flower. That is cheating. That is not good. According to your position, you must worship. This is one Otherwise, bitta sat. If you have got money, and if you don't serve Krishna, and you serve Krishna with a little water and flower, Krishna can understand this kind of cheating business. No. Everyone should worship Krishna according to his position. That is what. Kurushyatas madarpana jat karosi jat juhosi jat asnasi jat tapasasi kurushyatas madarpana. To become very big businessman is not ordinary thing. It requires tapasya. Very great labor, brain, not tapasasi. But the result, Krishna says, Purushatat Madhapana is asking, give it to me. So there is no harm to become very big businessman, earning money, that is all right. But you give it to Krishna. Then in any position you can remain Krishna consciousness. And if you remain Krishna conscious, then you will understand Krishna. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya Saktamana Pratha Jugam Junjan Madasva. Asam Sang Samagrang Mang Jatha Gnesha Sita Chinu. Krishna is explaining that if everyone is trying to understand God, but by speculation you cannot understand. By service only you can understand. By attachment. You cannot serve Krishna without being attached. Therefore, Krishna says in the seventh chapter, Maya Sakta Mana Pratha Jogam Junjan Madasa, taking shelter of me or my devotee. If you practice this yoga system, bhakti yoga system, increasing our attachment for me, this is one thing. Krishna consciousness means we have got attachment, so many things, but that attachment has to be transferred to Krishna. Then you become Krishna conscious. Maya Sakta Manapatha. Yogam Jindan Madasraya. Asamsa. Then Asamsa, without any doubt. To understand God, there are three features. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Sabdu. So, the ordinary person, they can be able to understand Brahma. A little advanced, 
than them. They can understand Paramatma. But to understand Krishna is very difficult. Bahunam jano namam. Manushyanam sahasesu kasti jagati siddhaya. Out of many millions of persons, one tries to become siddha, perfect. What is that siddha? Brahmagya. Jadatam api siddhyana koschid vetimam tattva. Now out of the siddhas, those who are actually self-realized, aham brahmasmi, out of many of them, maybe one is able to understand Krishna. So Krishna can be understood only by devotion. Bhaktyamama vijanati, javana jaschami tattva. So we have to take this process, sabanam kirtanam Krishna. So our only request is that to understand Krishna is not very difficult if we read Bhagavad Gita perfectly, seriously, then Krishna is understood. And as soon as you understand Krishna, because Krishna is explaining himself, what is the difficulty to understand Krishna? If uh, you, uh, Mr. Billa, you explain that I am like this, I have got so much money, I have got so many business, so many factories. If you explain, then where is my difficulty? But if I speculate, Mr. Villa may be so much, Mr. may be had. So that is always imperfect. But if you understand directly from Mr. Villa, then it is clear. So Krishna, God is explaining himself, I am like, oh, song, song. Samagrangmam jathāgāśyasī tatsuṁ. So there is not very difficult to understand Krishna if we simply, but if we interpret foolishly and try to understand Krishna by misinterpretation, then the business is finished. Don't do that. Simply try to understand Krishna as He is explaining Himself, then your life is successful. How it is successful? Janma karma cha mai divvam ju janati taktata takta dehanga punar janma naiti mami. That is it. We have to change this body. But we do not know what kind of body I am going to get. These information are there. But any kind of body you get, even in the heart planetary system as demigod, abrama bhuvana lokan pradavati no no. That is not good. The best thing is, you get a spiritual body, like Krishna, Satyadananda Vidya, Takta Dehang Punar Janmanai. Then you haven't got to accept any more this material body. Then what happens to me? Mameti, you come to Krishna and enjoy with him. That is success of life. Thank you very much. Jai any question? Baliya Mataji. Kuch Prashna to Bali. There should be question. Yes, either you surrender to Krishna or clear it by question.